Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video, episode, uh, I've lost count, it's gone 15 or 16 of In The Saddle. It's going to be a big, big episode in the sense that we've moved forward quite a bit. So we picked up, of course, with those two defeats, Hull and Doncaster, we've bounced back a little bit. A 1-0 win over Wigan was good, Callum Gribben on the score sheet, 5-2 uh, win over Tranmere, pretty good, um, beating Oldham too, good. Beating Accrington in our last game, good. Some good wins. Disappointing defeats, though. Burton, 4-3. I mean, I don't even want to talk about it. It just wasn't fun. Just just wasn't fun. Charlton, 1-0, was a little bit disappointing considering they went down to 10 men as well. 0-0 against Oxford. Not a terrible result. Oxford are flying high at the top of the league. And then Forest Green in the Cup. We gave some of the guys who aren't really getting some football a chance. Alfie Bates in particular let me down. But we bounced back then, that 5 0 win over Accrington. Eddie Brown and Dennis Politic both scoring twice. So that's pretty good. Tonight we have MK Dons, who are fifth. So that's a big game. Um, and then I think we've got Coventry, who are there, down there in the league. So this is a huge game for us because we're sat in ninth position, as you've just seen. But we have. Uh, you know what I mean? Games in hand over a lot of people. It's really weird. Hull up there. We've got three games in hand over them. I don't know how why it's worked out the way it has. But if we can get a win over MK Dons here, we'll still have two games in hand over them and we'll be just three points behind. And that could be the difference between a playoff place at the end of the year. So we're going to crack straight into this. This is going to be a big, big game for us. Um, the team looks fairly fit and we'll run right through it. It's Norman in goal. Mason by the numbers at right back. Akinola and the Red Rooster are centre-back positions. Kenlock on the left. Magoma and Zambarek in the middle. They're trusted. We'll keep them. Politic on the right. Levitt be, be, uh, behind the striker. Uh, Lecco will play on the left. Callum Gribben has played all right this year. He's actually been pretty good. 6.99 isn't horrific. Um, did get an assist in his last game as well. But Lecco... I think just offers something a little bit different. Lots of goals too. Six goals in 12 appearances. He starts today. And Eddie Brown up front is still banging them in. 12 league goals in 12 league appearances. And I think he's top scorer in the league. If I can have a quick look at that, which will be this one. He is still top scorer in the league. Um, there we get there. There we go. Two more than Paddy Madden and Dominic Samuel at the moment. So hopefully he'll continue his form and fire us to a promotion place. It's going to be a party if that happens. MK Downs then line up in a quite weird 4-4-1-1. Elliot Bennett on the right-hand side there, former Premier League man though. So he's one to keep an eye on, of course, with uh, Norwich. Just Norwich. No, Blackburn. Blackburn are back in the Premier League. Whoa. Blackburn are Blackburn were back in the Premier League. They're no longer back in the Premier League. That didn't work out for them, did it, last year? <laughs> Jeez. Um, yes, he's one to keep an eye on. Uh, anybody else there, really? Dominic Revan rings a bell. Has he played for played for Villa. That's why I, he rings a bell with me. Um, but everybody else, Healy up front. 13th finishing. He is one to keep an eye on. He's been scoring goals, so... We'll have to be careful. The screen might look a little bit weird. I've had to change the way the computer goes into the screen from HDMI to, to the VGA, which changes the size a little bit. The circles are now a bit bigger. Well, it's fine. You guys can deal with it. Mason by the numbers is flew forward. Zambarek, can he get a shot away? Jan Zambarek. It's his first goal of the season. And the man that, honestly, I really wish he will stay with me forever. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. But it's a super finish from the man on loan from Brentford. Left-footed, honestly. Swung it in. Beautiful. Perfect start as well. An early goal. We, When we tend to score early, we tend to dominate the games and go from there. Hopefully that will continue here. Another highlight straight away. So that means it might. Brown's in there. Lecco has come away with it. Jonathan Lecco, it's two. This could be a good day. This could be a very, very good day. MK Dons have started badly holy in goal well oh holy crap he's having a bad game and uh brown nicking it off a defender lecco this is why i said he was going to play today he offers more of a goal threat i think and well he's proven it there 
Well, not the start I was expecting, but a start I'll take. There's another highlight here, and Lecco's straight onto it. A third goal in 12 minutes, and this game will be done and dusted. Lecco from range, well, well wide. A win here will put us up to, to eighth, um, so we are knocking on the door of that playoff position. Other results, though, could change that. Another highlight. We're only 20 minutes in, but there's been plenty of them. They all seem to be going our way. It's Lecco in behind again. He's a threat, Jonathan Lecco. Great save. But on the rebound, he is unstoppable. Ninth goal of the season. Jonathan Lecco is turning out to be a signing that nobody expected. I didn't expect. But he's coming good. Lecco, I mean, he's better than this division, that's for sure. And, uh, well, the goal, the goal is... is Perfect. Another highlight straight away. It's all coming to us. We're 3-0 up. We're dominating. Politics getting in on the action, but Holy tips it over. That would have been remarkable. 4-0 after 30 minutes. It's continuing. Dylan Levitt over the corner. They're gonna they're gonna deal with this. It's fine. There's gonna be no no highlight, no goal. And it's gone. Magic. Another corner, Dylan Levitt will whip it in. Lecco's there, he's hit the bar from about two yards. That would have been his hat trick too. We are dominant, weirdly dominant, considering they're fifth in the league. So half time then, 3 0. Good. I I don't know what else to say. Very, very good that the lads are performing well. Defensively, they haven't had a sniff, and we've just looked good going forward. I, I don't want to change anything and just keep going. Carry on. This is This is easy. Another highlight straight away. Might, might be four inside the first minute. Mason. By the numbers, Mason. Magoma. Levitt. Zambarek again. Zam one of you. One of you, please take a shot there. That would have been nice. Miles Kenlock will keep it alive. Zambarek. Don't lose it there. Find a pass. He has done. We've worked it out. And Eddie Brown hasn't got his goal yet. Hmm. He's playing well. Got an assist. A 7.0 rating so far. Eddie Brown... I just like him to score every game, if you can. Every single game. Sunderland beating Charlton 3-0. They're flying high at the top of the league. They're going to take some catching. Nine points ahead of us at the moment. But we do have three games in hand over them. So that's where those nine points will come from. Politic could make it four here. Holy with another good save. We, we're kind of not taking that fourth chance, are we? The attack playing well. Lecco a 9.1. Politic, not quite. I'm actually going to make a change there. He's been booked. We'll give him a bit of a rest. We do have Wes McDonald on the bench, who, when he's been called upon, has done well this year. Um, anybody else really worth bringing off? Not really. So, Wes McDonald gets an opportunity. If he can uh, get a goal here, he'll start the next game. That's how the team selection will work. It's quite simple. Time ticking in the second half. We're into the final 10 minutes. There is a highlight. We've seemingly taken our foot off the gas, but when you're 3-0 up after 30 minutes... Does it really matter too much? Holy's long kick forward. We've cleared it away and headed it away. And now the midfield can work it forward. Eddie Brown, can he chase that? He wasn't quite aware of it, I think. But we go again. Magoma finds Niall Mason on the right-hand side. Lovely ball to McDonald. The cross is blocked. I'm wondering where this is going. And it looks like MK Duns are going to fly forward at us. Nom away from Akinola and Reeves. And Norman's had an absolute nightmare there. What's he done? I need to see this in 3D. Show me. I don't know what he's done here. It's a, he beats Akinola way too easily. Way too easily. The pullback's good. And the shot... I mean, Norman dives out the way of it. He's not having a good few games, uh, Magnus Norman. I've, I've really bigged him up. But right now, he's not doing that well. Lecco's picked up a knock. So he won't be getting his hat-trick today. Gribben will come on. Um, there is another highlight. If they score again, this could get tasted. He's offside. It's fine. It's fine. No one panic. No one panic. It's fine. He's well offside. Literally like goal hanging. Javier Hernandez style. That injury to Lecco kind of is worrying me a little bit. The injury is a potential foot injury. That might rule him out of the Coventry game. There are a minute or so to go. It's an MK Don's free kick. Don't, don't score again. Our goal difference is really weird. It's been headed well out of play. Is this is this a game-ending highlight for once? Yeah, our goal difference is really weird. We score goals. We score a lot of goals. I think we're still the highest scoring team in the division, but we concede too many goals, weirdly. Magoma, 
And that's is that the end of the game? Oh, have we got a game ending highlight here? Maybe not. Eddie Brown, Mason, we're gonna take advantage maybe and score a fourth. Eddie Brown blocked and saved, and that's it. A 3-1 victory, a good victory. Lecco proving why I said he's gonna start. Very pleased. And now we fly up into eighth. Um, we are really knocking on the door of those playoff places. We just need to continue it. Coventry, again on Saturday, they're now into the bottom four. You'd expect us to beat them at this point. They're not having a good season, Coventry. Um, and you would expect us, looking at their schedule, I mean, they're unbeaten in two actually, but you would expect us to beat them. Whether we do or not will be a big big uh, message of how we're going to finish the season. Lecco is only out for three days, but I think that means he'll miss the game. Right then, second game of the episode, Coventry away. And I think Coventry is a local derby for us, technically. Um, I don't know if it counts on game, whether it's a local derby, but Coventry and Warsaw aren't far away. If we have a look here, Coventry aren't on there. That's bizarre to me that Northampton can be on there, but Coventry not. What what are Coventry's rivalries? Surely, surely they'd be considered. Uh, general, here we go. Just Villa and Leicester. Leicester. The team for this one. Then we're going to make a slight little bit of tinkering. Uh, Norman plays in goal. Mason, Akinola, Taylor, and Gavea on the left. So that means um, that's because Miles Kenlock is suspended. He's got a fine for that. He ain't happy. Zambarek and Magoma in the middle. Politic on the right. Levitt behind the striker. Callum Gribben comes in for the injured Jonathan Lecco. He could probably be on the bench, but we don't need to risk him. I'm not going to risk him. Gribben um, will do a good enough job on the left-hand side. I'm sure of it. And Eddie Brown, he'll like to get a goal today. Um, Coventry in the bottom four, ripe for the for the taking, surely. They, they play a 4-4-2, a weird 4-4-2. Cassidy up front on loan from Watford. We've played against him last year at Oldham, two in 10 appearances, says that he, he, we should be able to keep him quiet. I don't know why I say things that I'm gonna regret like that. Right, first highlight then, and uh, it's up long towards Cassidy. He's nowhere near it really. Zambarek and Gavea and Gribben deal with it between themselves and it's a good ball behind the defense towards Brown. Well cut out, and now actually this might be a Coventry highlight, Jones. Skipping away from Magoma, he needs to get a tackle in there. Paris Magoma, he hasn't done. Jones is still going, and it's well, it's more of a more of a cross shot, more of a clearance. I'm, I I wouldn't call it an actual striker goal. It was poor. I was busy looking at the league table there, and we've conceded an own goal. Brilliant, brilliant. Dylan Levitt, uh, the free kick swung in then, and Levitt, it just hits him. It just slaps him in the side of the face. Not good. Not good from us. We haven't really been in the game. We've not had a shot yet. 20 minutes in. A game we should be winning. And we're not in it. Here we go though. A free kick on the edge of the box has been given here. Um, and with the likes of Callum Gribben around, it could be a danger. Gribben will whip this right into the back of the net. I was going to say into, in, into the box maybe. Because it was a tight angle. But especially for a left footer... But somehow he's beat the goalkeeper at the near post. Goalkeeping, well, there's a lot to be desired, but well done, Callum Gribben. Good goal. 1-1. One, one. Game on. Another set-piece highlight. Whipped in and Coventry have scored again. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. This wasn't in the script. Now this was meant to be a nice, easy episode. Two wins. Job done. Out the way. And now Coventry are here. Spoiling the party, the defending from the set piece is pretty woeful again. I'm gonna demand more. This isn't good enough. Half time, and we are down by a goal. And I'm actually just gonna rip into them a little bit. I feel like they're a little bit complacent. They've looked at Coventry's um, position in the table and gone, oh, it's fine, we can beat these with our eyes closed. And some of the big members on the team, the likes of Eddie Brown. Dylan Levitt, Politic, aren't really performing at the moment. In Even in, in the centre of midfield, it's another Coventry corner. They've scored from two of them at the minute. They've scored from three of them at the minute. Dear God. What are we doing from set pieces? Mason's whipped this in. It's knocked back and Jones's finishes. Well, I'm, I'm wondering about the player on the line there who's got his back turned to it. We need a goal and we need a goal from somewhere now. T 
The Red Roosters just about got away with it. Cavea's pass, though, has put Zambarek in trouble. A fourth goal here, and we are dead and buried. Castanilla. Coventry will re reshape it and restart. Jones is away. Jones is away, and it's... I am not happy. How can we go from beating fifth place MK Dons to be run round by a Coventry side who was struggling? Struggling, remember that, struggling. Eddie Brown's having a quiet game, to say the least. Dylan Levitt's not really performing. We'll get Ronan Darcy on, see if Darcy can make the difference. Something's got to change. And in these games, in the games that we should be winning, we're not. The big teams, the, the tougher teams come around and we put the performance in, but... I feel like there's a, there's a bit of complacency in this team at the moment. There's another Coventry highlight. Castanier is, well, we're dead. We are dead and buried. We're done. End it. It's over. Blow the whistle. It is, there's a, there's a Walsall highlight here. I mean, it will take a remarkable comeback at 4-1 to find your way back into this. Politic, we couldn't score anyway. We couldn't score anyway. We are having an absolute shocker. I'm going to get Caden Lavery on up front for Brown, who's had a really quiet episode. He doesn't like the camera being on, I think. And we'll also get Wes McDonald on the right-hand side. Give him a chance. If they can force a comeback here, fair play to them. But we are we fall one down to Coventry. That is ugh, remarkable. Remarkable. It's actually been, if you look on the match stats, it's quite a tight game. But the defending from set pieces has cost us big time. And that's it. Deary me. Deary, deary me. That is really, really bad from us. Dropped us straight back down to ninth. So the good work we did against MK Dons, completely undone against Coventry. Brilliant. The sarcasm, the sarcasm is there. And Coventry have climbed up to 17th with that. I mean, it might not matter in the end of it. We, we've just got to go on a good run and we'll be fine. Um, we'll try and play through a bit more. Probably come back maybe December. Um, Gillingham and Crawley maybe and play through the month of November there's nothing really there worth playing um, we've played Gillingham and Crawley already we might come back the 1st of January and look at Fleetwood and Bradford Sunderland in there too Sunderland are flying high at the top of the table until next time peace